Hey guys, Casey Ferris here. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve. Make sure to subscribe for more tips and workflow goodness and all the things that are good. Today, we're looking at a really quick tip on relighting a shot in post. This is something that seems really complicated, but a basic version of it is so stupid easy. You're gonna love it. Here we have our shot of this lovely lady looking at her laptop, it's kind of lower light and it looks okay, but it could really be better. The first thing we're going to do is just a basic correction. I just want things to be a little bit brighter. I'm going to boost my gain a little bit, maybe balance this out a little bit, bring a little bit of warmth, maybe a little bit of saturation, just to kind of make this pop a little more. Here's where we were before and here's after. But now for the actual relighting part, because when you're going to relight something, you're actually pretending like you're adding a physical light into the shot. This is something that you can't do perfectly without just a ton of work, but you can do a really basic version and make the shot probably twice as good in like 10 seconds. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a new serial node. I'll hit Alt S on my keyboard, and this is just going to be a new group of corrections basically. Next, I'm going to select where I want to actually add the light. I'm going to do that in the Windows palette, which is down here in the middle. I'm going to click on this little ellipse and I'm going to click on this pen. This is a curve window and I'm just going to draw a really simple shape. Kind of around our main subject here. Now, whatever corrections I do to this node is just going to happen within this shape. So if I make it super yellow, that's just going to happen within this shape. We can take this opportunity to soften this out a little bit. It's always nice if you can to make your windows really soft because it's a lot harder to notice a soft edge than a really sharp edge like that. The way that I like to do that is with the inside and outside softness controls. It just gives you a little bit more control than this soft one. I'm going to grab inside and just kind of drag it to the right. And I'm looking at my window up here. We can see that edge is starting to get softer. I'm going to turn back on my power window controls. And you can see you have little controls here where you can actually control the softness on screen. I'm going to grab our outside and drag that again just so we can bring our controls up. And now we can really get detailed with where we want this window to live, how soft we want it to be. We'll do something like that. Now, if this looks kind of decent, whatever we actually do is going to be great because this is way farther than we'd ever go. You'll also notice that she moves a little bit during this shot. She doesn't move around a whole lot, and honestly, this is so soft, it's probably not going to matter a whole lot. So we might just leave it how it is. Maybe I'll try and track it. Control T and see how this track does. It might be more distracting to, um, to have that track, so maybe we'll just leave it really soft. We'll just soften it out a little more here. Again, this is going to be subtle enough that you're not really going to notice that shape. We make it as soft as we can. I'll even kind of blend it down here into the table a little more. Now that we have our shape, I can reset my primary wheels just by clicking this little circle arrow. That'll get rid of all the color correction that I've done inside of the color wheels. And now if I turn off my overlay by clicking this little button and hitting off, now I can do something like mess with my custom curves and kind of boost that up a little bit, take this away from that pink and kind of move the gamma a little bit warmer, something like that. And this is just kind of adding a general light to her. This isn't really, you know, emulating a light from her screen. This is just kind of if you want her to pop out a little more. Maybe it's more of the light from the table. We want our subject generally to be, you know, bright and kind of the most interesting thing in the shot. This is where we were, and this is where we are now. So it's not over the top, it's not crazy, it's just making the shot look nice, drawing our eye to the actual subject. If we did want to emulate the light from the screen, we could do a similar idea. I'll just turn off this node and I'll make another serial node. We would do basically the same thing. Draw something like this. And again, I'll soften this quite a bit. But this time maybe we'll make it a little bit harsher and we'll turn it maybe a little blue. And that's more of the light from her laptop. We could even do something like add another serial node, grab a circle window and click this little button right here, which is invert window. That means that everything on the outside of this window is going to be affected and we can make everything else a little bit darker. And that'll kind of change the lighting a little bit, make it look more like she's being lit by the laptop screen. Now you'd probably want to take some time with this window and maybe move it towards one side of her face, the side of her face that's actually facing the laptop, something more like that. That's a little bit more realistic, but you know, you get the idea. So that's a nice way to just kind of add a light to a shot, make it look a little nicer, maybe change the mood a little bit. 
I hope that was helpful. If you guys want some more tips on basic color grading, I have this video that is really nice intro to color correction and kind of how color works inside of Resolve. You should check it out. I, I gotta say that even though I'm biased, I think it's pretty good. And I th hope that you do too. Hmm.